When you hear this, you're likely hearing a camshaft with a tight lobe separation angle. So what's being said is, is slightly misleading. And I, I see this a lot and I don't really understand why people that maybe just don't grasp <clears throat> the subject matter are, they're, they're telling you about it. People that don't understand the subject matter are teaching other people about the subject matter they don't understand. So when you hear a cam, like in the, in the example they give, what you're actually hearing is the overlap of the cam. The choppity choppity is derived from overlap. So the lobe separation angle um, is just really irrelevant. It's just a, it's an irrelevant number to the system. What matters is opening and closing events. And we can do a little math to determine what the overlap will be for any given opening and closing events. So I just, some of the, the cams we had done, I just pulled a couple of examples. So the first example to, to, to sort of drive the point home, the first example, the cam is 212, the, the duration at 50 is 212 on the intake and 219 on the exhaust. This cam is ground on a 110 and it actually came out at like 109.5. So. So we're just gonna call it a 110 lobe separation. So in, in the example, you know, that would be uh, tight, a, a tighter lobe separation. Well, this camshaft has negative four and a half degrees of overlap at 50. So this, so basically negative five at 50 is about where a cam just starts to be audibly, you can tell that it's got a little cam. You know, it's, it, it, ain't, it ain't choppy, but it just, it's almost got a little rumble to it. All right, so, so remember this, this, is, this one's 110 and it's got negative four and a half degrees of overlap. So this cam right here is ground on 116 lobe separation. So according to the video, this will be a really wide cam and a wide lobe separation, and it would be mild uh, according to the video. But the problem is this cam at 50 has 38 degrees of overlap. The difference in between this cam and that cam is this camshaft has 265 degrees of duration on the intake and 275 degrees of duration on the exhaust. So with this large duration, even though it has a really wide lobe separation angle, uh, it just, it has 10 times more overlap and the overlap is what you're gonna hear. And so, you know, picking, picking these cams or, or trying to talk about cams relative to lobe separation is, um, it's just nonsensical. Um, the opening and closing events are what determine the, the characteristics of the cam. Uh, lobe separation does not. And, you know, intake closing event determines dynamic compression uh, every time. You know, it's just physics. It, it can't work any other way. And I can, I can grind you, I can grind you 10 cams with 10 different lobe separations and every single one of them have the exact same amount of overlap and every single one of them will sound exactly the same if they have the same amount of overlap. Um, they'll run totally different, but audibly they'll sound the same. So, um, you, you know, just be aware of that because there's all kind of misinformation on the internet, unfortunately. And, you know, people I'm sure uh, have good intentions. They just, 
don't know the subject matter. And so, you know, it might be the Dunning-Kroger effect. I, I don't know. But, you know, stuff gets put out there and then it gets just regurgitated over and over and over. And 30 years later, everybody believes something that's just not true. So hopefully that was helpful or entertaining or both. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much.